Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry I didn't end my Houston vlog properly. Um, I just got really overwhelmed when I was in Houston with everything that I had to do in such a short amount of time. I really couldn't even finish out the vlog. I just had so much going on. And um, the few hours before I left for the airport, I just really wanted to just kind of decompress because I think I was just so stressed the whole time that I was there. It was starting to take a toll on me. But I had a very, very emotional day today. Um, today was my last day at my work here um, in Orange County. Um, I will be transferring my job to Houston, but it was my last day here and just saying goodbye to everybody. I basically cried my lashes off. I cried, they cried, everybody cried. It was just a huge cry fest. So I'm about to have crab coop from the packing house for the last time. Well, maybe not the last, no, last no. time, but one of the last times. So here's the famous rep crepe. She's got the little crepe with treats inside. It's delicious. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. This is the first day that I've slept in in like a month yes i haven't slept in in so 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 long it felt really good to just sleep in today um well my idea of sleeping in is probably not everyone's idea of sleeping in usually i'm up by like 7 6 37 i woke up today at 9 that felt so good and i had to call the apartment in houston and figure out what the fudge is going on because why is it taking so long like i know they have to do background checks and all of that but it's been since thursday you should have an answer by now so i just want to make sure that everything is fine um i called both apartments and they're like we'll call you back in an hour it's been two hours I don't want to be the annoying person that calls them back every hour on the hour, so I would give them until 4 o'clock their time, which is 2 o'clock my time, and I'm going to be like, girl, get it together. What is happening? Your girl needs a place to live. Now I just have packing to do. Um, as you can see, I have some stuff right here, um, and my Postmates is arriving soon. I just saw that. I ordered some Postmates because don't have my car today so i need some food so hopefully my postmates can find his way up to my apartment because i do not tip postmate if they make me come downstairs and get my food that defeats the purpose of getting a food delivery if i have to come downstairs and get it myself so if you want your tip make your way upstairs yeah so i'm gonna go eat if my postmate henry can get upstairs if not i'm gonna have to go downstairs braless Nobody wants to see that and get my food and Henry will not get a tip. So there's that. All right, so I've gone ahead and put all my shoes, whatever shoes I had left, because a lot of my stuff that I packed are already on their way to Houston in the shipping box. But these were the shoes that I that stayed behind um, that I was still going to wear for the next like past two weeks. So I have those shoes in here. Over here, I just have the comforter that I purchased on sale from, uh, where's that? TJ Maxx. I have my little card that everybody signed for me at work. I have my coffee maker, just the box. I haven't put anything in there. These glasses, I was afraid that they were going to break if I shipped them, so I'm taking them with me. I have my little umbrella, my ring light, my stands for my ring light. I have all my designer stuff here, designer shoes, designer bags. I did not ship that, um, which is pretty explainable why I didn't ship that. But I just have that here. I'm going to be taking that in the car with me. So everything that I'm parking right now, I'm going to be taking in the car with me. I also bought a ton of stuff from Home Goods. I probably should not have done this, but... I just feel like the home goods in California or like Orange County, LA are much better than home goods anywhere else. But I just got a few like household things. So what do I have? I have glasses. I have a wine rack. How pretty is that wine rack? I have pots. 
I have the lids for the pots in that one and I have another pot in here and I have some sheets, some Kate Spade sheets that I found on sale. Just amazingly good deals. Good morning, everyone. I am about to, I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday, but I've been like everything with my paperwork for my apartment in Houston went through. So um, that's amazing. I went ahead and got my lights and my uh like my utilities and everything i called them yesterday and this morning and got all of that sorted out so right now i'm just gonna go over to my car dealership to get my car checked out before we make this long drive to houston i'm gonna come home and continue on with the packing mostly it's the packing is done it's just the trash <laughs> the trash I hoarded so much. I think the more space that I have, the more I hoard. So that means I had a whole upstairs area, if you can see up there. All of that is hoarding heaven. So I've been going through it. I went through a lot of it last night. Um, so yeah, I've been going through it. That's what I'm going to come home and continue doing. Let's see what else do I have to do. Um, I'm supposed to get my nails done, but I'm not going to do that until tomorrow. I don't know how many times you guys have seen this sweater, but it's not the same sweater. I love the sweater so much. I bought two of them. Um, so yeah, I packed all my clothes, so don't mind me if I keep wearing the same thing over and over. Just know that it's clean. So I'm leaving my dealership. Where am I going now? I think I'm gonna go to the mall. All right, I got myself this drink that I really like. I actually discovered it when I came to LA. And it's called like Chimango, I wanna say. It's really delicious. I mean, I'm sure they'll have this in Texas, but I like this one. And I just wanted to have it like one last time before I left, so. All right guys, so I am heading to dinner. It's kind of like a goodbye dinner for me get in this car oh there we go so i am heading to dinner with my friends slash co-workers um we're gonna go eat so i can see them and say goodbye this is probably gonna be the last time you guys see me with makeup on because i am not gonna have makeup on during the actual drive down to houston which is happening in one day. OMG. But yeah, let me focus on driving. And I'll talk to you guys when I get there. See ya. Thank you guys for coming out and sending me out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Good <laughs> child. It's the next day. And I am wrecked. I told myself I was only gonna go out for dinner and like one or two drinks. I ended up being out there till 2 a.m. I was out to 2 a.m. and I had several drinks, honey. Okay. Not the best decision I've ever had because right now my head is on level 100 and I leave tomorrow, which means I have to get all my shit that I was supposed to do last night. I have to do that today so pray for your girl because i don't know how that's gonna go good morning guys so today is thursday the 6th and it's moving drive day so it is about five o'clock in the morning and we are getting ready to be out i'm just hoping that i haven't left anything behind um i don't think i have i have my stuff i have my bag we have our snacks we're gonna get some coffee. Do you think I left something? Probably. Oh, yeah. mm. You can send it to me, probably. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I think this is goodbye. Okay. <laughs> no emotions. Hi, can I please get a venti um, caramel brilliant latte, please? Okay. All 
right guys so we are on the road as you can see the back of my car is packed the f up so much stuff back there um i didn't think it was gonna be that much stuff i have this pillow right here it's like my furry little pillow that's right there um got our coffees and then we are hitting the road jack and i'm not coming back no more no more no more i'm just kidding Hey guys, so we've officially left California. We are now in Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Um, Jewel yeah. Pio State. This is the Jewel Pio State. How do you know? Anyways, um, I feel like. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are wondering watching this vlog, like, oh. <laughs> You're separated, but you're driving together down to Houston. Do you wanna do you wanna explain, or do you want me to explain? Well, I don't. There's really not much to say to it. Look, we've been a couple for nine years. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a long time. Okay, and out of those nine years, we've spent it together. We've dealt with our own issues and resolved it between ourselves. Which, by the way, I'm proud. Off, not getting any just anybody involved you know into our things but you know this time it's a little different and we just feel like distance and being apart is going to help so i think my version of that is just i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be wondering because a lot of times when people get things like separated breaking up whatever it gets very um hostile um we're not typical, so things did not get hostile with us. Right. There's still a lot of love here. Yeah. But and that doesn't, yeah, that too doesn't lessen the seriousness, you know? Yeah, I mean, just so because just because you're not hostile with somebody doesn't mean you don't still, like, understand what's going on and know the what you need to do. Serious. Yeah, I mean, it's just that we operate differently. We do. We've been each other's, like, We've had each other's backs for 10 years. So, of course, if I'm moving across country almost, who am I going to, like, rely on? It's going to be him. And we're mature enough to understand those things and to realize those things. And he's a kind, good-hearted person. So for anyone who's a little confused as to how, you know, not every separation, not every divorce, not every breakup has to end in like a screaming match, in a hostile environment, I mean, in a talking shit about each other type of thing. We've never been like that. I have too much respect for him. We don't want to get to the point where we're like hostile, we hate each other because that really just, it brings out the ugly in people and it's counterproductive because you spend so much time being angry that you don't actually find solutions to things. And we're very solution oriented. So, yeah. So that's about it. So we've, that's, that's pretty much the explanation. We made it. Oh my gosh. My neck is stuck. 